Welcome back to the rest of the story. You guys remember that 76 needs parts video a couple days back, a few days back, whenever it was. Well, I finally gotten around to working on it and everybody was quick to point out that I need this. I did have this, by the way. The last time I did this project, I had to replace a blow motor and this. So that's why I was saying in the last video that I needed the blower motor because I'm running off of past experiences and typically when something like this starts happening again you automatically go back to the last time you had to do it and already start having nightmares of everything you had to do last time to get it done well something else that Ryan did for me Ryan did this the other day while we were waiting for parts the seat switch and the 76 went bad for the raising and lowering, lowering of the seat. This one you can definitely hear that it it clicks. The old one did not click at all. And I'd have to say the worst part of this job would be this right here. Um, the last time we did this, I had it hanging off a bungee strap out of the back of the window. But all I gotta do, hope you guys can see me. No, not really. Um, I just got this plate right here to take out and I'll show you the guts and everything that's in here the blower motors and the resistor it's in the airstream to try to keep it from doing what it did but I'm really not expecting this to be too much of a miserable job so let me get caught back up with you here Okay, I got the new resistor in. I did not need the new blower so that blower motor can go back to Sloan's because I don't need $190 just sitting on the parts bin. Well, I don't know if you guys can hear it. I shut the window maybe. But I now have low, medium, high, mock chicken. I mean, it is nice that it defaults back to the high setting. I mean, the very high setting. The only problem is, is that it's not so much a problem. It's probably a good thing. But the heat and the air conditioning in this tractor are so efficient that if you, even on a hot day like this, today it's 90, no, not 90, it was uh, 84. It was 84 degrees out and humid running this tractor with the air conditioning on, on the high setting, at the very high setting, would be enough to pretty well freeze you out of this tractor, or at least get you to the point where you'd almost have to wear a sweatshirt just to be able to operate it throughout the summer. It was the same way when, in the winter, when it was cold out and running the heat. When this tractor would get all warmed up and be th uh, throwing heat at capacity, you would either, <laughs> Ryan would have to open the windows up or something we were putting bales out I don't know if you really saw that but well, me too you know when it's hot in here with all this glass and the sun glaring in on you it gets hot really quick and well it's a good thing we do have an air conditioner that can keep ahead of that but that's also why you need the the speed settings to be working properly so I did uh, hit this seat with WD-40 it didn't really help so we're gonna live with it because I don't notice it. The only people that have ever, ever brought it to my attention that the seat 
squeaks like it does is YouTube. So, you know how I say if it works, don't fix it? Maybe I've never said it before, but I just did. So, I'm going to say this job is done. I got to put in the floor mats and I'll cover really quick. But other than that, this tractor is ready to go cut hay or cut, cut grass or weeds. Because I have some waterways that I have to go through and clean up here in a couple days. So until the ground dries out again, because we got that storm that we got the other night, it we got right around an inch of rain. So the ground is officially muddy, but I'm not complaining. Our crops are in. They are growing really well, other than getting them sprayed in a timely manner, which we're still within the window of getting it done um, well at least on our our timetable you know we're sitting really good as far as the corn and beans so far the beans are just about up and running we were talking about those aximes that we put in with the soybeans on that test farm of mine what happened is is that I went through and I put the aximes down on my field a field of mine and 24 hours, 12 to 24 hours later, I was went and I finished up soybeans on one of Dad's farms, the last soybeans that we planted. And Dad's farm did not have the aximes. I did run just straight water through it. And from what I'm understanding from Andrew, because Andrew drove by it earlier and was mentioning it to me, that the farm that was planted 12... Well, I'm going to say 12 to 24 hours ahead of dad's was already up and out of the ground and dad's field was just starting to move the crust or the soil up so I mean and you couldn't roll couldn't roll the soybeans at my dad's at all yesterday we were just up there yesterday so there's a possibility depending on how this year goes and how yields turn out and how the plants look and everything else you know there's more than just one or two factors that you got to calculate into that when you're making plans for next year already but if it comes to find out that by putting the liquid with the aximes onto my soybeans um, i will probably be incorporating that into all of my soybean acres next year but that is also like i've said why i trial stuff and why i've got going through and doing it across all of my acres the first time we're trying it because I want to know how it performs on a certain number of acres before you incorporate it across everything because that's a good way to dump a lot of money down the toilet really quick if you're just assuming that if I go and put another $10, $15 to the acre down and it doesn't bring you a return, that money is just gone. So sitting in this cab without the heat on, oh the heat, yeah without the air on without the fans going and the fact that it's probably pushing 90 degrees out there right about now i'm starting to sweat so i'm gonna get these windows open finish this tractor up which will take a whole five minutes and move on with my day so until tomorrow take care take it easy keep in touch i'll talk to you then